to my YouTube channel. Today, we want to see how we can use the determinant method to solve problems on simultaneous equation in two variables. I'm Wachiku Daniel. Please endeavor to click like button and subscribe button after watching the video or as you watch the video. Back to the question. How can we solve simultaneous equation in two variables using determinant method? We call it simultaneous equation in two variables because we have two unknowns. It could be A and B, it could be X and Z, it could be X and Y, it could be any two alphabets. Now let's see the question on the board. We have two unknowns, X and Y, X and Y. Apart from determinant methods, we have elimination method, substitution method, graphical method, and so on to solve it. But we want to see how we can solve it using determinant method. To solve it using determinant method, see what you do. You create this box and collect the coefficient of these alphabets or letters. Coefficient of x, 1. Coefficient of y, 2. Coefficient of x, 3. Coefficient of y, minus 1. How many letters? X and Y. Because X comes first before Y. Equal to 3 and 4. Now, what you write is delta 0. Delta 0 means find the determinant of this bus. 1, 2, 3, minus 1. What is the meaning of determinant? Determinant simply means the difference between the product of the Diagonal element and up diagonal element. I repeat, the terminal simply means the difference between the product of the diagonal element and of diagonal element. This is called the diagonal element, while the other one is called the off diagonal element. So we now say 1 times minus 1 minus 1. You must put minus because we say it is the difference. So this minus is constant. 3 times 2, 6, equal to minus 7. You come again, you say get delta 1. Delta 1 means remove this first column, carry this 3 and 4, and put here. You say 3, 4, then write 2 and minus 1. Get the product of the diagonal element, 3 times minus 1, minus 3, you must put minus 4 times 2. 8, it will be giving you minus 11. You get change in 2 equals to. Now, in change in 2, what you do? Remove the second column, carry 2 and 3 and 4 and put here. You have 3 and 4. Then write the first elements you have here 1 and 3. Then we now say 1 times 4, 4 minus 3 times 3. 9. 4 minus 9 will give you minus 5. Therefore, x will be equal to change in 1 over change in 0. What is that change in 1? Minus 11. What is that change in 0? Minus 7. Equal to 11 over 7. And y is equal to change in 2 over change in 0. What is that change in 2? Minus 5. What is that change in 0? Minus 7 equals to 5 over 7. That is the values of x and y. You have gotten the values of x and y. Thanks for watching the video. Please don't forget to click subscribe button. See you next time.